So I said on Google Plus yesterday that I am going to go to Sephora tomorrow and I had a little shopping list um, of makeup stuff and one of the things I said I wanted was a new foundation. Um, when I lived in Australia I had this awesome Lancome um, sort of a powder finish foundation. It came in a jar that looked a little like this number seven jar. Um, I haven't been able to find that. I don't know if they discontinued it or if it's just a um, oceanic product or what, but I haven't been able to find it here. Or at least I didn't three years ago when I started looking for it. So I went out and I started looking for a new mascara, uh, new foundation. So I thought I'd go through my sort of history of foundations in the three and a half years since then, because I have them all still. <laughs> um, and then, um, yeah. So um, the first thing I did was I went to MAC because I love MAC eyeshadows. I love MAC um, false eyelashes. I love MAC. Um, I love a lot of MAC stuff. I love MAC brushes. So I went and I got this one, which is um, the MAC Select SPF 15, um, and it's in NC30. Um, I feel like this is too yellow for my skin. I know that you are supposed to wear um, a yellow sort of based foundation if you have a tendency to red skin, but I feel like this is a bit too yellow for me. I think it makes my face, yeah, it doesn't look natural. It looks almost jaundiced. Um, so I quickly, actually I wore it yesterday and it wasn't that bad. Um, I don't know. I just don't feel like it's quite right. Um, and, um, so I wore that for a while, but decided that wasn't any good. Then I heard all this stuff about, um, mineral based foundations. And, um, because I would, had been using the sort of powder finish cream foundation, I decided to try this, um, uh, mineral, what's it called? It's a... <sighs> I had it before. It's a mineral powder foundation. So it is actually a powder. So you can see it comes like this. And I actually like the color. Um, it has a really, really light coverage. Um, so if you're into slightly more coverage, as you get older, you get into more and more um, coverage, but not like heavy, sticky um, coverage. And for Day to day, it's all right, but the reason I hate it is because you have to apply it with a giant brush, and it makes a mess. I mean, it really does. I put this on my brush, and then I like lean over the sink because the powder goes sort of everywhere. I don't know if that's because I do it wrong or what, but um, I just feel like it, it makes kind of a mess. Um, obviously, I need new brushes, but um, but I do sometimes use it here on my chest if I feel like my chest is overly red that day or I'm just feeling gross in general <laughs> I do sometimes wear it on my my chest okay then um, I went to the department store and um, I got sort of what they call fitted <laughs> um, colorized uh, I, I, I got some help picking a new foundation and um, the one I got is um, the 12 hour lifting anti wrinkle radiance renergy lift makeup. Um, and I got it in 30C. I love this. It's a really, really good makeup. And it matches my skin perfectly. And I've been wearing it for three years. So why do I want everyone? Um, because I'm kind of sick of it, to tell you the truth. And I want something that is easier to apply. This is kind of, it comes out in little squirts and I, I don't know. I, I'm sick of it. I want something new. I'll probably just end up going back to this. This is the one that I keep going back to all the time. But because I've been sick of it, I have been sort of playing with buying makeups at Target. Um, because I wanted to sort of try different stuff. So um, when the first ones I got was... Um, the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Compact Makeup. Um, I got it in, you see, 
this is bad because I would love to tell you what color I have it in. But see that the theft, anti-theft device there? It's right over where it says what the color is. Isn't that horrible? It's like, so now I can't even see what color to tell you what color I use it. Because the first one I got um, was great for when I for winter when I was really quite pale. Um, I needed to get this slightly darker one because um, because it was just too pale for me when I got you know a little bit of color on my skin for, from the summer. Um, but I like this. I don't know why I wouldn't wear it more often actually because I don't like the way a compact makeup applies. I, see, it's kind of creamy like this, and you apply it with I guess with a makeup sponge. I have other sponges upstairs. I don't like the way the makeup sponge finish is. I prefer a liquid makeup, but it is, it actually is kind of nice. But so I don't wear it very often because I don't like the way it applies. Um, and then um, my other one, the one that I'm actually wearing today, is it is a powder finish makeup. Um, is um, Boots Brands, uh, Boots Line number seven, and it's, um, Number seven, Intelligent Balance Mousse Foundation. <laughs> this is in 20 Blonde. Okay, so um, I really like the finish. I like the powdery finish. But again, I'm really after sort of a liquid makeup um, that I can use separate powder. Um, this is really easy to apply. I use my fingertips. Sometimes I use a little brush to sort of um, help finish it off. But um, I want a new liquid makeup. If, if I can't find one or I get one that I don't like anymore, then my Lancome, I'll probably go back to my Lancome. But um, yeah, so tomorrow I'm going to try at Sephora to find a new, more liquid based foundation. Um, I don't like going into department stores to get my foundation. I hate the hard sell um, that they give you when they try, when they, when they, um, fit you for new makeup. There's always a real hard sell um, and they don't always give me the type of makeup that I'm after. I don't always trust them. There's a lot of old ladies that work in there and I don't always trust them to know what kind of look I'm after because I'm after a good coverage but I don't want it to look like I'm like caked in makeup. Um, and so I don't really like going to department stores. The thing is, though, going to department stores, you usually get a better color match for your skin than you do, like, from department stores. I'm hopeless at buying the wrong one from department stores. If it was up to me, I would be ordering all this stuff online. But um, I'm going to have to go in and see if I can match myself at Sephora, maybe with some help. Um, because it gets expensive to buy the wrong one all the time. So, um, yeah, that's my adventures in foundations for this week. So um, I'll let you know how it goes after my shopping trip tomorrow to Sephora. Uh, talk to you later. Bye-bye.